Hello, welcome to PodQuest time with me and Taiwa. He hello, Taiwa. Why, hello there. Hello. Hello. Okay, now what? <laughs> I said hi. <laughs> Continue, just go with it. Well, um, we should probably just finish up what we were talking about before, uh, about our uh, future. Oh, future, future plans. Peak series coming up for each of our channels. Right. And other channels as well. As soon as Bedrock comes Mine. out, channels such as Pringle's Son, Jeff of the Mellows, Your Boy Billiam, X Potato, X God, underscore, underscore 69, all of us are going to be doing a, like, series together on a, like, a realm, I think. And it's going to be lit. Wait. Clarify what a realm is. It's like a world, right? It's like it's it's like a server, like an official like run by Minecraft server that you have to buy. Oh, so like it's it's another way of just saying a bunch of people in a world together. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you do have to pay for it. But that's the only way I think it? it's probably not very much. And with all of us, like that's only four channels, but each channel has multiple people. Like it's just you and me, but then we have like uh, for our channels, but then we have Brangolin, we have uh, Simon, we have Mateo, and all of Mateo's friends, so that's like Andrew, Wesley, Andrew's brother, Nathan, Are they all gonna be? Are Aiden they all Garza. Gonna be on it too? Yes. And then we're also gonna have people like Billy and his dad, so Dawson and Vincent, but it's gonna be lit. Okay. It's gonna be really. I can't lit. wait. I can't wait. It's actually gonna be great. Like yeah, that's gonna be like really fun. I've never done one of those before. Like I've had other people on my channel before, but not like this. Not like big big collabs not, like that. Not yeah. Like the most I've had on my channel at one time, including me, has been like four or five. Like including me is like four or five people. Yeah. This can be like more than that. So. Right. And That'll like I said, not. we're not all going to be like doing it at the same time, but we'll be like pretty well, dang the close. Well, first, the very first episode, we should all be together. Oh, that's that's going to be one very hard thing for all of us to get to do. But like, for like the very first episode, we got to have like as many people there as possible to introduce ourselves and like introduce the series. And then as the series continues, we all branch off. Well, yeah, we, we're definitely all going to branch off. I'm probably just going to do it with, like, you, or you're going to do it with Simon, and I'm going to do it with Branglin, or, you know, stuff like that. Simon. Simon. He doesn't have a PS4. No, but he does have Bedrock already. Oh, yeah, it's PC. So, PC, he would be able to play with us on PC? Yes. Oh, that's cool. So, because I know that Billy and Vincent are going to play together... I know that Mateo is most likely going to play with a bunch of his friends. Um, Mateo's going to be the one with the most stuff. Like, yeah. the most best equipment for his boys and stuff. He, he's he got the um, most subscribers as well. Yeah, but he's got Billy, like I think, has he, the most views. Might, do you think he might live stream it? He likes to live stream. He yeah. doesn't like to make actual videos. He likes to just live stream. Yeah, I think he might just live stream. It's because he probably found, like... What is... He probably just found, like, a way to, um, stream and not screen record, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he... he j well, he can't stream directly off of YouTube because he doesn't have enough subscribers, so he found an external source to right. do that. Right, and he... But he does it... He does it off of, uh, computer. He doesn't... When he's playing, uh, Minecraft, like, and he streams it, it's on computer, not PS4. He so he st streams it straight to YouTube, but like. Oh, so he'll be he might play on PC as well then. Yeah. For his own streaming but purposes. Other people or that are his friends that he plays with Minecraft that I'm sure he's recorded with. Um, they all yeah, play. He's recorded with other people before. They all play um. Um, PS4, like Wesley yeah. for instance only has like PS4. He doesn't have. Well, I only have PS4. Minecraft? I have computer, but I don't remember the password. Oh, I've I've I had PC Minecraft a long time ago. 
Oh, that computer is old and no longer useful. Yeah. Okay, anyway, um... You should probably be getting into our topics that we wanted to talk about. You want to start? Alright, which one should I start about? The... Pick one. ...thing to happen. Don't, right, we'll don't, don't start with the one, the good one that was related to the southern accent one. Don't, we'll save that for the end. Okay. Oh, let's talk about the one that happened at lunch today. Um, so I walk into the bathroom, all right? And, you know, the first thing I see is there's a piece of tape on the wall, on, like, the mirror. Yeah. Which is normal. People stick stuff on the mirror and the wall all the time. And as I go to one of the urinals, I realize that someone has taken down the poster for the Legally Blonde play and yeah. stuck it in the urinal. Uh, why? It was just in the I urinal? I don't know. It was just sitting in there. If it wasn't already in the urinal and it was like on the floor or something, I might have tried to shove it down the toilet, but I didn't want to get my hands all cancerous. I wouldn't touch it regardless. I didn't touch it, but... So yeah, that was how my business went. Oh god, I have a dead dino. Your business? Yeah. Oh, I forgot you were playing Jurassic World. I was like, what the hell? Dead dino, what are you going on about? Uh, where did it die? Oh. Oh, Chasmosaur died. Gotta make Chaz? a new one. Cause Chasmosaur died. Yes, uh, I have to make a new one. Otherwise, the other ones are gonna break out. Is that lead? Uh, let's see here. What? There we go. Okay, so, um, new topic. This time, your turn. Um. Well, okay, so, after my topic, we're just gonna do... What? No, 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 don't... What? Oh, God, I'm being... Hypnotized. It's talking to me. Hold on, give me a minute. What's talking to you? Some weird fish, it was talking to me. Maybe it was you telling me to games. swim closer. Maybe you should... Maybe when we do these podcasts, you shouldn't play games that require you to be, like, concentrated and stuff. Well, I don't need to be concentrated. This is one of those games that, like, open world games are great for- No! Okay. So I'm just gonna, like, ignore that fish and continue talking. So, we had a fire alarm happen today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was raining at, like, <clears throat> 8 in the morning. I'm still tired. My entire cybersecurity class was dead silent the entire time until that alarm went off. Right. And well, I was- scared. I Jeebus was watching a movie in English class about like different dialects and stuff and then the fire alarm goes off and nobody expected it and it freaked a bunch of the kids out but like um so we were there watching the movie and it goes off and we're all just like all right what dumbass kid pulled it this time because that's usually what happens but I know what Someone. actually happened Someone uh, said they got sus someone got suspended because they pulled it, but that's you not what happened. Otherwise. That's not what happened. You, I got confirmation. I got confirmation about what actually happened. Who pulled it? Um, nobody pulled it. It w they set it off through the smoke sing smoke alarms. Where? In the kitchen. Do you know why? They were making breakfast or some shit. I don't know. One of the um people who works there tried to make themselves French toast and they burnt ha! it and it ha, set ha. off the fire alarm ha. that's <laughs> hilarious so the fire truck and the police car came here because some guy burnt his French toast <laughs> that's fuck that's hilarious right Everybody's just like, okay, what kid pulled it now? Or, like, people are spreading rumors, like, somebody got suspended. But no, none of that happened. It was some stupid lunch person. I had, I had also heard that, um, it happened, like, there was something happened in the kitchen that set it off, but... I didn't know it was about making their own French toast. Yeah, that's just so dumb. It is stupid. Well, okay, so now we can talk about the basketball game that you went to. Oh yeah, what's the staff student basketball games for uh, cancer awareness? 
Yeah, how was that? It was yesterday. That was just yesterday. Oh my god. Um, I got in for free, even though the admission was like, even though I had to buy tickets in advance, I got in for free because I was working. Technically, I was working with Honor Society mm -hmm. to help out at the game, even though I didn't do anything until the game was over and I had to help clean up. So I got yeah. to watch the game for free, basically. Yeah. Um. How did it go? And then, it was a great game. Um, both students and staff both had big leads at one point, but it was close at the end. Um, it went to overtime, which was two minute overtimes, and Mr. Willard sank a buzzer beater as time expired. Mr. Willard is our principal, by the way. Yeah, I know. And For those of you who don't watch this video, because nobody watches these, <laughs> there's like one person watch. or two people that watches these. I watched one of them. It got very boring, and I could barely hear myself. <laughs> but it's a good thing to have in the background, you know. Yeah, like play. That's what podcasts are for, you know. Just having in the background of your video, or not in the background of your video. That would be yeah. awful. Just in have the just have it in the background of your own video. <laughs> I thought about doing that, but instead of my video, it was one of my friend's videos. Because I was recording the Spongebob thing, right? Me building Spongebob in Minecraft. And I was just SpongeBob, like... Spongebob, me boy! I was like, this is kind of boring. What else can I do to spiff some... Or beef some stuff up? Spiff. And, that, <laughs> and then I just decided... I just decided, um... You know what? I'm going to play some YouTube. And then off the top of my head, I just started singing Safety Dance. And I was just like, <laughs> I was just like, oh, I could totally do that. Oh, you just put, just say safety dance in a video? I put safety dance in a video, and then after a while I did jellyfish jam. Oh, I love the jellyfish jam. But yeah, so that was, that was how that went. It was pretty interesting. Okay, we're off topic. Um, basketball games. Basketball. Yeah, uh, Mr. Wells was the MVP. He had 22 points. Mr. Wells is this big black guy, by the way. You didn't have to. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted. Ow. Ah, uh, but anyway, yeah, yeah, Mr. Wells is the MVP at 22 points. Son of a bitch. Um, really good basketball player, despite being fat. Very fat. Uh, oh, somebody broke out. Oh, God. What was it? Fino! Oh god, Spinal broke out. Oh god, really? Oh! God damn! Wetland. You These wanted sons more of wetland? I thought hurt you are, so I bad. gave you enough wetland. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Um, so okay, that's basically what so, happened, and then I got two free sponsored NHS hours just for watching a basketball game, and then helping put away chairs. Are that you is serious? literally all I did. Yeah, you just watched literally... the game, and then they gave you fucking... And then I had to help, I had to help put away chairs, and that was it. Because there wasn't anything to do, like, there were other people there for NHS, and there was nothing to do. Oh my god. Nothing. See, you like, guys just sat Mr. there. Kern, Mr. Kern had it all taken care of by himself. He didn't need us at all, except to put away chairs and help put the bleachers back up at the end of the game. So you just watched the game. What is yep. that? Oh, that's a sand shark. Okay. Oh, that, that sounds like easy credits right there, bud. Well, I was already... I was exhausted. But you know, what time was it at? It was seven to nine. Seven but to I was nine? Tired. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you'd have to be pretty dang tired at that, because that's pretty freaking late. Um anyway, um what else are we gonna do? Lunch on well, my feeder. I so are we done with the basketball thing? Yeah. Yeah. So Okay, next thing. <clears throat> over the weekend, I did very few things. But like you, I went to a game. I went 
to the MSU v Penn State game, but I was working concessions, right? Yeah, so you didn't get drenched in the monsoon that it came over our state. Dude, it was nuts. But I was outside the entire time in the stadium still, but I was um doing the ice cream concessions or whatever for the shit like that. I was I did concessions for our like Rams football game the night but prior. Anyway, we can get to that later. Tyler. Let's continue with you. Um, so I was there the whole time, and my mom told me, "Hey, we're gonna go to this game, right?" Because originally I didn't plan to, because we, I was going to a cr uh, crew meeting thing at a corn maze. But it started to rain, right? So the corn maze got canceled. But I didn't know that when, before I left to go to this game, because it hadn't been canceled yet. So I went to this game, right? And yep. I, I was expecting to leave, right? I, I didn't have to be there until 1 o'clock. And then we were going to leave at 4.30. So I was like, all right, yeah, three and a half hours. That's not bad. I, I'm cool with staying for that long. And then the corn maze gets canceled. And I'm there for the entire stinking time. That's tough. Yeah, but it's still better than... Because I've done it before, but most Wait. of the time, usually my mom's doing inventory off. or money. so Or, like, the cash. So I have to, like, wait beyond, like, the time that I'm, like, supposed to anyway. Um, but like this time she didn't have to and I was so excited that I got to leave early and then I didn't get to leave early and I was so upset and I was doing ice cream and I was freezing freaking cold ah. Yeah, it was horrible. The weather was horrible Saturday, right? Oh it God. was it was god awful But like I felt even worse for like the little kids coming down but it was really funny because here's here's the whole reason I'm getting to this is because I have a story to tell about some really drunk lady, and she just like there was this lady right I was selling ice cream and she she and this guy were right next to me, and uh, like on the other side of this post because I was backed up against a post so nobody could come behind me and like take money or whatever. Um, and then on the other side of the post there was this lady and this guy and she was just like you are my son I love you so much and she was so drunk to the point like they asked her where are you at <laughs> and she says I don't know I gotta go to a football game and we were already at the football game and she they, he was like you're already at the football game you are at an MSU football game and she says I gotta go to the football game and then she asks or the guy asks, where are you? And she says, East Lansing. But she was right. Okay. So, and then she says, or. She got I, that part right. And then I said, or I didn't say anything. God damn it. And then the guy says, who are you with? And she says, East Lansing. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she was like there forever. This guy was just like, all right, we're taking you home. And he's like, she, the entire time she's like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. And she doesn't even know what she's talking about. She doesn't really know what she's sorry for, but the entire time the guy's just like, you don't have to be sorry, you don't have to be sorry, it's fine, you're drunk, we're going home, it's rainy, it's cold, we want to go home anyway. And she just continues going on, it's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. And like, I'm guessing what is the guy's girlfriend comes up, and she takes something from him so he can like, help his mom or whatever, and like, he turns to her, to get whatever it is from her, and then his mom just freaking falls over on the ground. She tries to leave and just falls over, and it was so funny. I, I was trying so hard not to laugh. Wow. There were some really dumb things that happened there. I love drunk people. They they just do the funniest stuff. Which brings up which um brings up a drunk story of my own at an MSU football game. I went to the homecoming football game um whenever that was um crap. what is the menu? Oh. The football game was on Friday. That was a light show which I was no, also we're at. Talking about, I'm talking about MSU homecoming oh, we're football game I thought we were talking about um, the other thing MSU homecoming football game on uh, in September something I don't remember um anyway it was we were in the very like upper part and yeah there was there was a 
it was like just after halftime this this lady who was wasted um is coming up the stairs there was like this couple who was wasted before they even got into the game and then the the, the, the she was a lot more drunk than he was she's coming up the stairs with either with either nachos or um, pretzel with cheese I look away for just a second, but it's the worst second to look away because then I hear a crash on the stairs and she's down with cheese all <laughs> over her shirt. Oh my she God. laughed it off. It was hilarious. Which also brings me up to the um, another thing that happened at the basketball game last night. A girl was walking down the stairs and she slipped and crashed onto the stairs. It was the stupidest thing ever. It was hilarious. And she wasn't even drunk either. You know, it was a school event. And uh, it was hilarious. It just yeah, kind of happened. Falling incidents back to back for you right there. And also, I get to my uh, football, other football game thing. The Friday night, I was working concessions for the yeah. express stand, and it was freezing. It was like 38 degrees. I was in a sweatshirt and a hat. And, I know. Uh, I was marching. Yeah, the entire time, was. almost. Why are you breaking out again? You have a hundred percent satisfaction. Hey, Tyler. Maybe you shouldn't play a game that requires you to concentrate so much. Well, the stupid Spinosaurus <laughs> would stop breaking out, then we wouldn't have these problems, would we? Well, then don't let him break out. Shoot him. I've had to shoot him three times now. He somehow broke three fences at once. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, can't you just, like, double fence him in? Like, put a fence around the fence? That's stupid. He needs... the In the latest in the latest major update for Jurassic World Evolution, they made all the, like, crocodile-like dinosaurs, like Baryonyx, Spinosaurus, and, uh, Sukumimus. They're a lot harder to please, because there's a new wetland, um, requirement that they need. Yeah. Um, so that's what the Spinos is all pissed about. Um... I don't have Baryonyx or uh, Sukumimus in my main park, so I don't have to worry about them. But anyway, it was freezing cold, but I got free pizza because I worked. And then, um... No one referring to them. Okay. And then, what else happened? Uh, I think that's it. I think that is it. That's all you had at the game? Oh, I also had a mellow yellow, um, and a free bag of popcorn. And I got to walk onto the field to cross the field to go to the visitor stand to drop stuff off. Oh, where, where? So cool. You got to walk on the field. It's not like I march on the field or anything. Well, you know what? <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. We got problems. Um, what is your problems now? Jesus. I assigned a car that's going across the park to medicate somebody to repair a fence that they did not repair, and the spino is about to be uh, brought back into its enclosure. But it's 100% satisfaction now, so it shouldn't break out. But there's a hole, so it's automatically just going to say, "Hey, I want to run out of there," and run out. It's going to break out. I'm calling yep. it now. No, it's not going to break out. Oh, I'm dying. I forgot to breathe. How do you forget to breathe? Well, I'm playing Subnautica, so... Subnautica. There. Fences oh, are shit. repaired. Now we just gotta heal all of our sick boys here. We'll be healthy again. But anyway, um, do you have any other topics you want to talk about? Well, I could talk about the light show and how it went for me. Because you, from your perspective, you were just there, and, um, you know, you... I saw so, I saw a little bit of the light show. It was very underwhelming, because my brain had thought you were going to shoot, they were going to shoot lasers into the sky. <laughs> no! Of course you weren't going to shoot lasers into the sky. And then all you guys were just decked out in lights, so it was very underwhelming for me, even though yeah. I didn't know what I was, why I was expecting lasers in the sky, but... But I guess you can say your perspective because you actually were there the entire time. When the aurora is about to explode. Oh boy. Um. 
Yeah, so from my perspective, the light show went pretty good. Um, although, like, I was decked out in lights, and you know that big, big round light I brought to AP Gov the other day? Yep. Oh, I'm drowning again. So, I had that on oh, the end darn. of my trumpet. I had, I didn't die, but I had that on the end of my trumpet, and it made it very difficult to play. Like, to the point where I could not play. Oh, shit. Because, like, it was so heavy, and, like, just kind of, it felt like it was constricting my, like, tubes. Like, on my trumpet. Your tubes. Your tubes. <laughs> my bell, I guess, would be the right term, but. The bell. Think outside the bun. Um, what? Q bell. The Taco Bell. I've never heard of that before in my life. It's an older uh, commercial. Think outside the bun. Then they ring the bell. That's a pretty good commercial, though. That's a great, smart catchphrase thing. Yeah, they don't do it anymore. But anyway, so I had that. Oh shit! I, that's why I'm not. I don't. I didn't turn it into titanium. Um, so I had that thing on the end of my trumpet, and on the end of it, when the seventh graders came onto the field to play with us, and the eighth graders, um, I took they it off that. so I could play, and I put it on the ground in front of me, and then played. And one of the band boosters people came up and took it, and I never saw it again for the rest of the night. So what I, happened to it? So. Apparently it ended up in the lost and found because Vincent brought it to me the next day He was like, hey, where are you at? I got your round boy and I was just like, oh cool. I'm at my locker. I just got here and Then I went and grabbed it from him and it was everything was good The batteries are still in it and everything but I was just like so mad when that happened because it was just mad. So it was dumb. Like, why would you take that? I put it in front of me. You saw me put it there. We weren't marching. I was going to be in the exact same spot. But for some reason, they just didn't do that. And I ended up wasting all my time. All right. Well, there you go. At least you got it back. Right. At least I did get it back. That made me less mad. But I was still so... Uh, agitated after that well congratulations oh my butt's hurting how long have we been doing this how long have we been doing this been about a half hour it's been about a half an hour we can continue well we started what 3 30 that sound right or no 3 30 it's four o'clock right now well, we started a little after 3.30, because we, we came into the party together at 3.30, but we didn't actually, like, start until a little bit later. Uh, okay. Well, we're almost out of topics. Um, we're down to my last topic, aren't we, or no? I have more topics, because uh, I wasn't... I'm not even done with the light show yet. Well, continue then. Um... So, again, back to the light show. So there was that whole thing where they took my light, and then there was another part where, um... So, during the light show, we're marching, right? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, where the hell did you come from? Uh, so we're marching, right? And everything is fine in the normal light show, but without, like, the lights off or anything. Turn off the lights, and the whole fucking thing was living hell. It was so god-awful for a lot of us. Like... What it's was? like the marching because like, there's this one part in pirates where we go forward eight left eight forward eight and right eight and then the people directly to the like row or column next to us go right eight forward eight left eight forward eight i think or something like that no left eight forward yeah yeah yeah, yeah i said that right and then so they do that whole thing and then the like it's like everybody's going next to each other and entwined and everything. It's kind of hard to explain. But anyway, so since it was dark, a lot of people were in the wrong place. And I do mean a lot of people. Was it... Did it go bad or did it work out? In the end, it looked like it worked out. Like, if you weren't... If you didn't know any better, you'd think, oh yeah, everything went fine. But, like, I did know better. And... 
from my perspective, it did not go well. It did not go well at all. But probably from everybody else's perspective, it was probably pretty good. I gotta get the wall. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? My truck flip. My a Corythosaurus just ran into my truck and flipped it over. And it took me away from controlling the tr controlling the truck. That was nuts. Shit. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Oh. Oh, how did I hit it? Ooh. Well, that one's low health, too. I gotta get it cured, and I'm missing horribly. Oh my god, well, we're done with this. Drive over to them. <laughs> okay, so... Um... I think... I might be done with the light show. That might be it for that. So you want to get to your last topic or whatever? Yeah, hold on. Maybe we'll just finish. You know, I'm gonna let them take care of this, cause I, I'm... We got a new one on, on tap too. It's on low health. Okay, so anyway, um, are you out of topics? Yeah, I'm done with the light show, so it's your turn. Okay. Um, so what was my topic? Oh! I was bored this morning, alright, Mr. Beatty's class. Uh-huh. We're done with all of our work and stuff. So I decided to look up a question that was pender po pendering, pondering in my mind. Yeah? What was it? So you got all these swear words, alright? But how did... who... who, like, made them so that those are swear words? My theory is street rats. Street rats? I don't know. Mean I don't mean like people that somebody might call a street rat, like a Aladdin. I mean literal rats. Oh. I mean, so somebody just heard a rat squeak, and they were just like, and they were just like, oh hey, that sounds cool. I'm gonna use that. We're gonna make a movie about a rat and <laughs> cook food. You know? Think about Ratatouille. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. That's my theory. What's your theory, Tyler? Well, the actual answer is that no one, no one said that these are the specific swear words. It was apparently old English, and it gave a demonstration on how the word shit evolved into what it is today. Yeah. It was like skitty or skitte. And then it was like and then it was like skitten and then it went oh. shitten. Shitten? Uh, yeah, shitten. Weird. Ba basically old English. Yeah. And so basically what you're saying is Old English is where everything came from and then That's just it Someone's pinging your phone. Yeah, I know it's my brother and he's being really annoying. I don't know why he's doing it But he is He's being a butthead so you're saying that it's just from Old English? Old English is evolved and made it evolve into what it is today. Very underwhelming. I thought someone literally sat down with all the swear all these words and this depicted on which ones should be swear words and which ones shouldn't. So I was very Well, like there's a bunch of swear words that you can and cannot say without Repercussions like for instance damn is not a very bad one. So it's like most people are just okay with it You know what I mean, but then there's yeah. words like um, the n-word 
which is considered a swear that. word, but it's not really a swear word. It's just slang. It's a racial you know, slur. Yeah, that that's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Yeah, there's like stuff like that, which people I don't know really how that happened. Like what? I mean, I can understand because the Spanish for black is, you know. Oh. But it also makes you think about, like, Arnold's name, like Ar Arnold Schwarzenegger. Because if you think about what his last name means, Schwartz meaning black, and the other heart part is pretty self-explanatory. You know what I mean? You really had to go there. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 you did have to go there. Oh my god. Well, I have a huge case of avian pox going around my park right now, so that's perfect. Avian what? Avian pox. Oh. Oh. I can understand that. Highly, con highly contagious, and it's about to kill one of my paras. Oh, God, that's not good. So I've got two ranger teams. It's spread from the Gallimimus, Parasaurolophus, Carithosaurus, and Montosaurus enclosure. It's all one enclosure. It spread somehow spread it over to the Deinonychus enclosure and then into the Dilophosaurus enclosure. Both of those are, are together, but they're on the other side of the park from the other enclosure that got it. Kind of wondering now how that worked out. It just kind of happened, Tyler. This, this is how this works. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's how it happened. It just happened. It's just that's just what happened. It just you know one of these fish boys just broke into your thing and we're just like. Whoop! I have almost <laughs> got a control. I died, it's fine. Everything is cool. Oh, hey, I spawned in my new base. I can see him out there. Stalking around. <laughs> Get it? Because his name is Stalker. And how the Indoraptor, which is on the other side of the park from either one of those enclosures, also now just get a disease. Another Wait, thing it, has a disease? Got avian Wait, did pox. you say the Indoraptor has a disease? Yeah, I have the Indoraptor in my park. Isn't that thing, like, super hella expensive? Um, you just need a- you just need 100% Raptor DNA with Indominus. So it's not very hard to get, then? Yeah. I mean, I, I think it, it does cost a lot to make, but when you're in free play mode, it doesn't. It's just kind of normal in free play mode. Oh. Wow. My God. What? Another Dilophosaurus got it just as I was done with that enclosure. Well, that's pretty uh, dumb. Right, down, to, down to the last para. Indoraptor, para, Dilophosaurus, they all have it. Something came oh, in here and destroyed everything. The para, the para got healed. Oh, now no, it's no, coming no, no, to no, the no. <laughs> Alright, so do we got any other topics? Ah, oh, another Deinonychus got it. Crap. Well, you got anything? We can talk about the Iguanodon and how people, <laughs> like, on the topic of dinosaurs, how, like, they thought it looked the way it did, but then it didn't. You know what I mean? And people said I, that about actually, the. Actually, uh, I have a few questions for you after we talk about that, so yeah, we can talk about that. Well, another controversial dinosaur is the Spinosaurus on how, yeah. on like, did it actually walk on two legs or did it walk on all fours? Did it go on land? Did it swim? What did it do? And these oh. people are like, everyone thought like around JP3 time, they were like, oh, it walked on two legs, you know, it, it could do both, it could swim in water. Now everyone's like, oh, no it can't, it, can, it only swam. Which I think is stupid. The roar is exploding. I'm very close to it. Oh boy! Oh, I have to get a new oh! raptor. Oh, what are you doing? Whoa! Go away, you dumb fish! Ah, down to one. We're down to one, and the disease will be cleaned off. What is this crap floating above my thing? What? No, Dilophosaurus got it. Are you serious? 
Oh. Oh, they're like bats. What the hell? But yeah, so the Iguanodon, back to that, it was like this thing, right? And they called it Iguanodon because they thought it looked like an iguana. Come to find out that those big giant claw things were not... They weren't... They weren't claw, or they weren't horns. They were freaking, um, what's it called? Uh, thumbs. Like, they were just weird giant thumbs, and they, they walked on their hind legs and stuff. In Ark Survival Evolved, they were really good at picking berries. They're not actually hard to tame oh, either. I contained it. I contained <laughs> avian pox. But a couple questions I have for you is, one of them is, how do you feel about, like, how would you feel if, like, somebody found dinosaur bones in your backyard after you guys moved out of that house? That's my first question. I don't know. Like, if they just, like, found it, like, in your backyard, and you sold the house to these people and they just find this thing, and they instantly sell their house because they found, like, a crazy fossil that's never been discovered or something like that, and they get a buttload of money from it. Like, how would you feel about that? It was hiding right beneath your nose the entire time, but you didn't know. Well, they would have to dig up the ground in order to even be able to know that it was there. Yeah, like, but you just like, don't know it's there. We wouldn't. I don't think anybody would ever. This just is dig theoretically. Up our this is for theoretically. No this isn't. This isn't just like, oh yeah, logically. Well, I'd be like, well, I'd be like, okay, good for them. Because you wouldn't we just will be. Never, I you won't just dig. Do you want me no, to just no, no. Ex excavate my entire backyard just to see it, just to make sure that doesn't happen? No, I'm talking. <laughs> no, I'm talking more like, um, what would you do if, like, they discovered it in your backyard and got a bunch of money of it? Because me personally, I would get really mad that I never looked or found it. You know? I mean, I'd be kind of like. How how did I not know about that? Like at the same time, it's pretty deep in the ground. You'd probably cost a lot of money for one to dig up the ground enough to get to it, which would then be canceling out due to the money you make from finding the bones. This bitch is really fucking annoying. Actually, how much money would you even get though for finding one? A lot. Dinosaur skeletons, like, if you find, like, even close to a full one, it's worth a buttload of money. Like, it's kind of ridiculous, not gonna lie. Um, but, anyway, my next question, and we might, this might be the last thing in the podcast. If you found a dinosaur skeleton, what would you name it? It was an unknown species. Yes. Oh, you know, you already know what I'm gonna do that, what I would say. Why? I don't know what you would say. Oh no, you don't. I just came up with this on the spot. Uh, the Pringlosaurus. So ah. original. Well, you get it. I mean, like, you can't. I wouldn't name it after my name. It wouldn't be cool enough, you know? So you're thinking Pringlosaur? The Pringlosaur, yes. Pringlosaurus, probably. Pringlosaurus is a shorter name of that. They don't actually call that, like, scientific. Well, I think I would name it Gary. gary -asaurus? No, just Gary. <sighs> See, Latin would uh, say that you can't do that. I don't care what Latin says. <laughs> oh. I'm naming it Gary Fish, or Gary, because I just found a Gary Fish, and I was just like... Hey, okay. Ow, jerk. You piece of garbage. Let me scan you. Hey, oh, what right. are you... Wait, wait, what are you playing? Subnautica. Right. What do you do in the game? You build stuff underwater and you, like, survive. There's a whole storyline to it, but it's kind of hard to, like, do. Oh, because when you said scan, that's a PSV. You remind me of a PSVR game that the game we played one time. Where like you're, in, you're like you're part of a space family, but the ship crashes and you're the only survivor. Oh my! But you have this like little robot companion that can follow you around. And it's you a scan dinosaur dinosaurs. game, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's a dinosaur game. I know what you're talking about. Like, it, it, it goes past dinosaurs a little bit as well. Yeah. Maybe I, I wouldn't like name my dinosaur Gary. But anyway, you ba you befriend a baby T-Rex, and then you gotta kill the mom. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Or, just, or maybe just kill the bigger one. I don't know. You get a little T-Rex, and then you gotta fight, like, the bigger one, because I think it's inhabited your, your shipwreck. Yeah. I remember it looking very cool and having this cool museum thing. What? The dinosaur game you're talking about. Do you, I don't know what the name is. I'd have to look it up, but I don't know either. I, if I was gonna get PSVR, that was that be the game I would get. Yeah. Cause it's super cool. Uh, oddly enough, though, my nickname at Cole Canoe Base, where I work, is Pringle. I I've probably oh told you this. You haven't actually. I haven't. No. So it's very weird, and I feel like. I feel like, because a lot of the kids ask me there, Oh, do you have a YouTube? Do you have a Instagram? Do you have Facebook? Do you have Twitter? And I'm, first off, I'm not kind of allowed to give them that. But I could plug my YouTube channel if I really wanted to. But I didn't have the YouTube channel. Well, no, I did. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, probably because I didn't want them not allowed to be that. But now that I think about it, that would have boosted my subscriber count, like, off the charts. Like, I would definitely probably have more subscribers than you, Billy, and maybe even X Potato X God because of the amount of kids. Because believe it or not, I was very popular there. It's because I was the one they could relate to the most. And I have a weird, distinct humor that all of them love. What are you talking? What place are you talking about? <laughs> Where I work, Colkin U Base, Boy Scout Summer Camp. Um, are you, are you going to work there again? Yeah, next year. And I could definitely plug. Plug your channel in. Get and I can plug yours and Billy's yeah, and X Potato X God. Well, I mean, like, yours is kind of already plugged through my channel because we do, like, this, like, the podcast and stuff. Yeah, but nobody's going to watch the podcast. I mean, they will if we get enough subscribers. A lot of those kids would sit there for hours and listen to me talk. <laughs> like, I just hit them with straight facts, like, the platypus is. Nurse it's young by sweating milk. And that's a genuine fact, by the way. But I would just like hit them with that. And they'd be like, oh, okay, that's cool. Or like I would just say, hey, did you know that when whales die, they explode because of the amount of bloating, because of the gases that fills up their body? And they'd be like, oh, like no, I did not know that. Thanks for telling me. Oh, okay. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, you're welcome. But yeah, so I worked there, and I could have plugged the channel there. I don't know. I didn't. Um, but you still have chances. But anyway, back to what I was dies. starting at there. Basically, what I'm saying is my nickname was Pringle there, so I'm guessing that a lot of them probably looked up me and just found you. Well, I don't know if that's true. Over half my subscribers are people I know. But maybe the other, maybe the other half. I probably could have gotten like one or two, because when you search up Pringle, my channel is one of the first things to come up. Yeah. Or maybe that's just because I searched it up a bunch of times to see. No, yeah, I, when I searched it, it I just searched straight Pringle because I didn't know the sun si the sun was there because I was like, oh, just like my nickname, and then yours was one of the first few. That's what I thought. Like, there's not many people out there with their channel name being Pringle, and I don't think the Pringles company has a channel. They do not. I I'd love if they'd sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> I should um, do that. My channel, get a promotion going for Pringle. And yeah. uh, Mountain Dew, too. Because I do reviews for each of their drinks on my channel. Yeah. Pringles so and Mountain things. Dew. Oh my god. If you did Doritos, you would be the actual gamer. Yeah, but I'd have to change my name to Dorito, son. <laughs> no, it'd be Dorito sense. Do. Maybe that'd be my Mexican spinoff, Dorito, son. Oh, that's so kind of racist. It is racist. No, it's only kind of because Doritos aren't really Mexican. I guess it's stereotypical. Yeah, there you go. Um. Okay, well we could. Uh, we're gonna end it because. I'm, 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 we're done at it. We're out of stuff. 
Yeah. Do you want to end it here then? I guess. See you Where's guys. She... What? Unless you have other stuff, but I guess not. All right, go. See you later, guys. Uh, Pringle Sun. Uh, me, Jeff of the Mellows, and buy Mateo's merch. It's X Potato X God underscore underscore sixty nine. Buy his merch. Uh, buy Tyler's buy merch too. I don't have merch, but yes, you do. Why are you, pro why are you promoting someone else's <laughs> merch on a channel that they're not even like? Okay, no, I'm not gonna. This is your channel, so I'm not even gonna. Question. Subscribe but, okay. to X Potato X God underscore underscore sixty nine. Subscribe to Jeff the Mellow. Subscribe, like and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications. I know you're watching, people. I don't know. Dayton subscribed yesterday to my channel, and he probably is gonna watch this because hey, look, Noah uploaded. Yay. Um. Oh, so. God. See. See you later, then. Bye. 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 Right. Right. Okay.